without a doubt, as our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. Yeah, congratulations, everybody there. Now at four, breaking news, the historic moon mission, the Odysseus Lunar Lander, has reached the surface of the moon, becoming the first U.S.-made spacecraft to touch down on the moon in five decades. Uh, what an outstanding effort. I know this was a nail-biter, but we are on the, on the surface, and we are transmitting, and uh, welcome to the moon. Look at all those folks Houston. celebrating there. The landing the came after a delay and major technical issues with the lunar lander's navigation system. Yeah, Odysseus, nicknamed Odie, is an uncrewed lunar lander developed by NASA and Houston-based Intuitive Machines. It launched last Thursday. It's carrying science and technology experiments that could help with future lunar landing missions, such as Artemis 3. And we are expecting video from the moon landing to be released any moment now. That is exciting. Yes. Can't wait for that. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Amy Johnson. We were all just glued <laughs> to our screens as we waited for Odie to touch down on the moon 239,000 miles away from Earth. Workers at a local space company which designed the fuel tanks for the Odysseus also watched in excitement. The successful landing comes just one month after a similar NASA mission failed. KCAL's Dulce Delia Caballero is live in Torrance at the local watch party celebrating the big accomplishment. Dulce Delia. That's right. The U.S. has officially returned to the moon. Odysseus has a new home and celebrations are in order. We are currently at the headquarters of Scorpius, a company that is now proud to be a part of this historic feat. Did they actually have rockets on him? It was a day of much anticipation. <laughs> Today is uh, truly special. Ignition and liftoff. As folks around the world waited for the six-legged robot lander dubbed Odysseus to make history. Separation confirmed. Trying to become the first ever U.S.-built spacecraft to stick a moon landing by a private company based out of Houston known as Intuitive Machines. In space, there's really not much like almost worked or worked well or not so well. It's almost binary. Do you make the mission? or you don't. There's really no room for doing better or worse. You hit it or you don't. Marcus Rufer, the CEO of Scorpius Space Launch Company, or SSLC, based in Torrance, says he's proud to be a part of history. Well, this mission has a couple firsts, and among them is that uh, Intuitive Machines has decided to use a clean system to land. Which is where his company comes in. This is a kind of uh, technicians, engineers, craftsmen, people who really make this all happen. One foot from the bottom to here. Adding it's also the first time nearly clean fuel has been used in such a feat. And one of the ways to do that is use liquid oxygen and liquid methane. And that is a nearly completely clean burn. It's a fuel and an oxidizer that can stay there, and doesn't do any harm. We are among the first company who pioneered what's now called a type five tank and they can hold just about any fluid, any chemical that's used in the space. But Rufer says this day didn't come without its challenges. We came into this when everybody already had decided this can't be done. And then we found a way to do it. And so we passed over 150 different tests, shaker tables, drop down tests. I mean, it's a barrage of things. It takes over a year and a lot of money to finally get that stamp that you can fly to space. And now we can officially say nothing American made has touched down on the moon since Apollo 17. That's more than 50 years ago, of course, until now. Five countries have landed spacecraft there, but never one built by a private con uh, company. Now, Scorpius is a part of that effort. Reporting in Torrance, Luz Delia Caballero, KCAL News.